So about 18 months ago, uh, Glenorchy City Council got a 2610 grant and that gave us scope to provide the outside workers here with a bit of a bridge to move into digital um, platforms to do their safety documents on or their timesheets or whatever it might be that they need. To start with, yeah, I think there was a certain level of fear uh, and it was probably the ones who hadn't had any experience with um, digital equipment, uh, so they had to be brought on board gradually. The first kind of little glint of excitement that I saw was when we did an activity using maps and we just had to find pools in people's backyards, just see, you know, one particular thing that we could find on a map. Um, I looked away for a couple of minutes, came back and they're all finding new fishing spots that they can go to on the weekend to go fishing. Um, so it was really exciting to see guys that didn't want to touch the tablets using maps to find new fishing spots. And that was the way we kind of broke down the barrier, I guess. So when we go to a job now, um, as we draw them towards the job, all our work orders are, are sent to us on the, the tablet and we've got all the gear and everything ready to go. So we don't have to sort of venture into an office or it anymore. I've been used to um, Apple and iPhone um, programs and uh, Bill's helped me transfer to Android. Um, it's been a bit of a learning curve. That's quite remarkable. I actually think it's life changing for a lot of these people. Uh, the 2610 program has um, brought about uh, so many benefits for the for the workers and and I guess it's a two-way street because if they're willing to take on the use of this new technology it creates a lot of efficiencies it actually helps us as an organisation because we're actually gaining those efficiencies. I never go into a workplace and tell them you need to learn this because your boss wants you to because that's a waste of time. They already know the boss wanted them to do it and it hasn't worked yet. So I say to them, what's important to you? What would you like to be able to do that you can't do right now? And sometimes it takes a while to get the answer, but sometimes it might be things like helping their children with their homework, or it might be that they have a hobby that entails being able to read and understand some things that they struggle with. A lot of the workplaces I go into, I have to work with the managers because the managers don't understand how to communicate to different audiences. And that's kind of where the plain English comes in. That when you're communicating with these people, you have to keep it clear, precise and simple. Part of what we usually do, or I usually do with Deb along the journey as we're going along, is we start to look at, are our documents easy to use? Are they in plain English? Do they have lots of colour and lots of pictures and things like that? So that people can easily understand what that's about. I love that I can change people's lives. I've had people say to me, you've changed my life. And that is just an amazing thing to have someone say to you. The personal satisfaction that as an employer that you get from seeing your employees grow in confidence, um, skills, uh, they lose that fear of embarrassment, they open right up with their workmates, um, they participate um, and they bring efficiencies to your workplace. Bringing 2610 into your workplace can um, bring a lot of um, enthusiasm. I can think. I think it can bring a lot of um, creativity. I think it can bring camaraderie to your teams. I think it can change the way that you can do your work so that it can be more efficient, more effective, um, more cost effective. Um, I think 2610 is a great program to bring into any workplace. Oh, well, it would help me with my license and yeah, I can be happiest.